ちを決めてくるか All's well that ends well. Time to celebrate our victory. Good call. You guys all did a great job today. Let's pop some corks. Yeah. Mm. Aren't we forgetting <laughs> something? <laughs> eh, it couldn't have been important. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she's right there. He help! You can <laughs> return safely. <laughs> That's nice. How'd you know I was using Slugger? Is it because everybody wants to beat him down with a weapon? Hey. She's fine. She's fine! <laughs> Tsukiyama's Club Moon is the only one remaining. It's always set the bar. I never imagined we'd be on the same level as them. Let's, let's have a shot at winning. Let's take the fight to the Club Moon area. Can now take on Club Moon. Progress through the story and character battles by increasing the number of fans in each area. Gain more fans in the Club Moon area by running your club and partnering up with businesses. Done and done. It's time. Um, We're going to the moon. What did we unlock? Uh, your attacks are not deflected by walls when in heat mode. Oh, they're, they, they're, they are deflected by walls? Huh. Heat gears will rise over time when you're wounded. Only fill up to the second bar. Reduces heat lost. X or Y when attacked in heat mode. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I like that. And... Protects block in any direction. And then... Power surge, heat retention, power surge. Counterattack. All right, over here, weapon power boost. Uh, hitting back bullets with the bat. Sick. Recover health when you do heat actions. That sounds amazing. Bat and break grabs, Cali sticks. Uh, knock away weapons, thrown weapons. Pull. Okay. Katana. Right, don't drop your shit. Why, why? Okay. All right, let's go with this. Uh, and then maybe save some money for shopping first. Just in case these businesses are really expensive. Oh, you know they're going to be crazy. The final ones? Yeah. yeah. So let's hit the nearest save. And there should be one or two girls off the street. Ready to hire. Always helping people from bullies. That's my style. Uh, yeah, okay. 
very expensive. Oh, you can throw money on it, right? I, I'm trying to. Isn't it X? Not while sprinting, maybe? Yeah, not while sprinting. Oh, it worked. All right. Hamadon? 20 million. Yeah, we're going up there. Cotton. 56. Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. Can you allow it? Hmm, let's see. Slurp. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. Thinking about it. Yep. <laughs> you think about it. You think about it long and hard. That's all it takes. Two seconds of yep. a picture and a slurp noise. Mm -hmm. And it's and the ad has been fucking burnt in. Nami Dazaka. That's a fun word. Gotta see ya. Bumped into everyone. Who could off seven? River Classic. A little fishing pole. I'll take it. A rod, rather. Uh, club still. What do you need? Oh, you need games played? Is it a drink or something? Order. Oh, we can't go nuts. <laughs> Alright. Well, you want to go to sleep? Alright, let's get the 12. Come on, you're good for the money. Seven bucks? Mm, no fizzy. Why is there no check mark? Why is there, yeah, why is there a check mark on this one but not this one? It didn't save it. Are we gonna get blitzed? Hmm. Does playing games increase? Oh. That'd be, that'd be cool if so. Would you like to play darts? 200 yen per person per game. Uh, let's see. All right. Please let us know which type of darts game you'd like to play. Yeah, so you've got z oh yeah, you've got z one cricket and count up. Um, right, so try to reduce your score to exactly zero. You're the first to reduce it to zero. Going bust. It's reset to the starting value and play continues with the next player. Yes, cricket is uh, 15 to 20 and the bullseye get the highest score. You start to hit the numbers three times to close them. Scoreboard is used to show the numbers. Yeah, okay, so you can close off numbers. Okay. Hit on a closed number, score points. A number you'll no, no longer yields points uh, if all players have closed it. Yeah, there. And then count up. Starting from zero, compete for the highest point total in a predetermined number of rounds. Get the highest score. Okay. Yeah.
Oh wow, that does make it easier to aim. I guess I unlocked those. We all won. So this was right stick, right? Uh yeah. Yeah, it's twin sticks. Right. And then let go of the flick. Yeah, if you just okay, if you just release the stick, it's gonna flick pa correctly. You don't have to actually press forward or up. You have to release it suddenly. Hat trick. All right, so eighty. Done. Pretty good. That was pretty easy. Do I get friendship? Thank you for your business. Come again. Ah, uh, that sucks. Oh, man. And who are these people? There's something on the floor. There sure is. These are dudes who... Uh, there's a dude who challenges you to darts. And uh, this guy is the pool guy. Because you can do pool challenges as well. It's just drinking. Ah, give me another one. Suntori. Oh, another extremely popular Japanese whiskey. Spirits aged in sherry barrels at the Yamazaki Distillery are blended with carefully selected malts and grains. <laughs> what is this fucking Catherine? This yields a bright aroma and a sweet fullness in the mouth, and the finish is deep and mellow. A lot of people call it Dharma because of the bottle's round shape. It looks like a Dharma ball. Doll. Sponsored ass label. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> Just a little lit. It's right to have a customer who really savors his drinks. Yeah, now, now, is it... Can, are we gonna have digital over-serving? With a sponsored brand? <laughs> that's all about drinking responsibly? Hmm? You've been visiting often recently, so if you'd like, your next drink is on the house. You don't mind. Not at all. Uh-oh. Whoa. <laughs> it's a good whiskey. 18-year-old Yamazaki, aged in sherry casks. Sherry casks, eh? That sounds pretty tasty. Yes, so the casks that were first used for aging sherry. The wood soaks up some of it in the process. They're used to age whiskey. It becomes infused with a subtle sherry aroma and takes on a unique tinge. You make it sound so enticing. I bet even someone who doesn't normally drink whiskey would be tempted. <laughs> bet accept it. But it means you'll have to bring your friends here to test your theory. <laughs> so free drink was just a clever way to make me bring you more customers, huh? You're quite perceptive. Uh, well, thanks for the Yamazaki and the Sherry Cast trivia. I'll be back sometime to learn some more. Yeah. My pleasure. I'll be waiting. And when you get lit... Oh, wasn't there a, like a filter? A bottle. Yeah, yeah, when you're drunk. I thought there was a screen filter that kicks in and has a little bit of a whoa. Also, I need to get it more turned up. There's, uh. Yeah, there's. You can go further. And. Which style was it? There's definitely a, a Is there a drunken master? There's a drunken somewhere? there's a drunken master, yeah. Um 
I forget where it was, though. Somewhere in there. Okay, well. They did kick me out, so they did do their job. Is that what they did? You I mean, you, you, you automatically left, right? If I walk back in here, it's me being irresponsible. Welcome, Majima-sama. Can I get you anything? Yeah, it didn't check. It didn't check off. The other ones. Weird. It's not all of them. I guess so. Oh, go with the McKellen. This is the standard of the McKellen line, aged entirely in sherry barrels. It's perfect for those looking to enjoy the McKellen without breaking the bank. It may be the standard of the line, but it's guaranteed to deliver the McKellen taste. I urge you to experience its sweet full flavor and bouquet for yourself. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anime noises. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Mm. Still getting turned up. I wonder what other, like, like, post-shot culture noises there are. <laughs> I feel like here we just, whoa! <laughs> you know? Whoa! <laughs> 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 you know? Yeah. Mm, Glen Fittich. 12 years is the best-selling single malt whiskey in the world. This bottle set the industry standard for a single malt. You'll find it light and fresh. The bouquet is fruity and the finish clean, making it exceptionally easy to drink. This light flavor makes it popular with anyone new to single malt whiskeys. Mmm. When I see a customer really enjoying a drink, I can't help but offer them more to keep the fun going. And you offer them the most expensive <laughs> drink you got out of it. That's a trick I use a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know all my tricks, but it's on the house today. If you find something you like, you can order it next time. You're offering me a free taste of Zephan? I ain't gonna say no to that. In that case, let me pour you something special. Try this one. This one's strong, eh? Damn, I hope, I hope this... <laughs> The effect it has on you for, for karage and udon, I hope it doesn't have it for booze as well, if you're a fucking holic. <laughs> so. oh, delicious, where is this from? It's scotch whiskey, Valentine's Who seven. cares at this point? It's held in high esteem. Literally, oh, wow. we're red. Who cares what the details in history are? It must be pretty special. It's a blend of more than 40 different single months from all over Scotland, matured over 17 years. Guess that explains the complex taste. Valentine's 17 years old, huh? The more you know, the more you marvel at all the work that goes into making that stuff. I'm the cabaret I'm czar! The <laughs> I'm the cabaret club czar! You fucking... <laughs> 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 of course, I'm looking forward to your next visit. You're a visit. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should team up with me. I'm the Czar. <laughs> Uh, whatever you say, sir. Oh, yeah, we've parted up. We got more fans in this area. You got them right, we did. Mm. Uh. Hi. Hi. Horrible breath.
Hey, partner up with me, you I asshole. am fucking there. 185 mil? What the? <laughs> Kabuki sucks. <laughs> I hate that shit. You're fucking. Mm-hmm. Uh. Mm oh, Club Moon is right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty disrespectful to just grab all the businesses right around it. Tetsuji Stripe. Stripe as in, like, intestines? Or, like, does that mean something else? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I think it's, like, meat. Ooh. Uh, I got these three. And I got those four. I think? Meshibugyo and the bar. Okay, so yeah, that's way at the end. Alright. So we have the bar and the Sega Sega land. That's all that we have, right? Uh the bar? That's it. Too bad you can't play pool and darts for uh for friendship. That would have been fun. Instead, you just gotta be a fucking Can you get you lush. How about some Lafroig? Lafroig. Very peaky. Yeah? It's safe to say this 10 year Lafroig is the standard of the line. It's characterized by an intensely smoky flavor and a smooth, dry bark. It has more than its share of quirks. So most people either love it or hate it. But if you end up loving this one, it'll be the one you'll never forget. It's five bucks. Oh. That's crazy, by the way. Or six, rather. It's very smoky, very peaty. I've had it with a, a cigar. Oh! What? Oh, no over serving. You're gonna tell me I've had enough? Oh, shit. I'll tell you when I've had enough. Okay, okay. The game actually puts a hard limit on it after eight drinks. <laughs> they, they consider it the, uh, yeah. They put the, they put the, the limit. Fair enough. Well, now what do I fucking do? Yeah. Go drink at your own club. That's my mission. Yeah. I have one mission left. Save the booze. Mm. I'm gonna <laughs> invest in my skills. What looks interesting. Oh, wait, we spent too much. No, that's affordable. There. Mr. Moneybags. Hey, Majima san, want to hear more about the investment fund? Can take a while, though. Sure. Sure, I'll hear you out. All right, it's going to take some time, so bear with me. If you get bored, feel free to start spacing out. Ain't going to matter much either way. You say so. 
First, the investment fund takes contributions from clients with money burning a hole in their pockets. Then we take that cash and invest it in a business we think shows promise. A share of the profits goes back to the investors. Basically, the people who borrow from us do all the work, and we just move the money around. So you're loan sharks, then? Not exactly. Loan sharks make their pickings off the interest. We profit by investing in all sorts of things. Listed stocks, startups, even movie productions or racehorses. If it gets us a return, we'll invest in it. Call that investment? Sounds more like gambling to me. Maybe so, but we only make bets we'll win. We lose out as well uh, when an investment goes bad, so we do our homework. If it ain't gonna pay off, we don't cash in. You can rest assured your money's safe. Sounds too good to be true. We keep looking until we find a sure thing. You'd fit the bill, Majima-san. Me? Of course. You run the top cabaret in Sotambori. I hear you're setting up your own cabaret club now, too. Got your ear to the ground, all right. Didn't think word be out yet. <laughs> money talks, as they say, and our money does a lot of chatting. What'll it be then, Majima-san? Huh? What do you mean? You want to contribute to the fund? Or will you take some of the fund's money? It's your choice. Huh? I get why you'd want me to put up cash, but you're saying you'd invest in my business, too? Yeah. Of course. But it ain't like it's our money we'd be handing out. It'd be from our investors. Who would that be? Well, we actually use a system called Mutual Investment Trust. The hell's that? Basically, we pair up clients. So whether you contribute or withdraw, it's always coming or going to the same person. Say you contributed to the fund, and we invested that money into the business of a certain k -Sod who runs a real estate gig in Camarocha. Ah. I see. If Kason's business is going well, a certain percentage of profit comes back to the fund. I follow you so far. After that's where it gets tricky. When Kason contributes to the fund, your business has the priority when that money gets invested. Kason made that money thanks to your contribution, so it's only fair you get first dibs on it. Hmm. So the money I put in goes to this real estate guy in Camero Show, huh? Shared funds. That's right. And when a certain someone in Camarocho invests some cash, it comes to you here in Sotambori. Of course, we take our cut first, so it ain't the full amount. If the investment pans out, though, you'll be sure to make a killing. Mm hmm. Oh, contributing to the investment cool. fund, you can transfer money between the two pro tags, Kiryu and Majima. However, the commission you pay reduces the total amount invested by a certain percentage. When you're short on money for your business, transferring money from the other protagonist can help. The problem is you don't know when you're going to switch, you know? So if you know you're going to switch, then you pay up in advance so that you can use it in a minute. But if you don't know that switch is coming, then you're kind of fucked. That about sums it up. Okay, I think I get the picture. All right, as a sign of good faith, here's a little cash injection from the fund. You got 10 million. Oh, hold up. This is a lot of dough. Well, first you got to get your business up and running. Use that money as a kickstart. Once you're flush, invest it back with us. If you just go wasting it, I uh, skip that. Be sure to put it towards things you can uh, that'll make you more money, and then you can play around once you got extra. That's the key to getting rich. Huh. All right, can can turn that down. Okay, so getting back to things. Welcome to the investment fund. What'll it be today? Ah, shirt item box too. No kidding. Wow. That is pretty nifty. Mm hmm. Uh. Invest. Get financing, shared item box. Yeah, okay, those are the three. Oh, wait, hold on a second. How much money do I have with them? <laughs> mm -hmm. I need to get a cash injection. Right now, we can offer you. I can't help you out right now. Why not? Uh, we didn't put any money in yet, because we haven't started the system over there. Oh, yeah. Make a contribution. Yeah, okay. Okay. Good system.
Uh, maybe I can fight this. Fight the booze off. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a workout. Start sweating. Break him. Still drunk. Gotta try out the new level threes. There you go. Platinum plate for your trouble. And... We're back to yellow. Yeah, actually, you could fight the booze off. Nice. Uh, so let me do a little something, something. Getting some heat. Now, thug. Wait, no, uh, breaker. Where was it? Yeah, run up to three enemies and press Y. Nice, nice, nice. That's great. Luchador Majima. Lucha, 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 lucha. Counter. Guard break. Nice. Now can I just point to my booze color and then prove that I'm not lit? Yeah, there we go. He can tell. There's a breathalyzer. This is the standard of Bobar line. Sherry barrels give it its uniquely ripe floral overtones. It also has a distinctive seaweed and salt notes of Isley. With a distinguished flavor, it's called the Queen of Something, it stands a cut above the rest of the single while 12 year old whiskeys. What's your poison? For me? Mm hmm. In that selection? Mm -hmm. uh, in general, in terms of uh, apparatus. Oh wow! Well, it depends, you know. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Okay. Well, what's your what's your base, like, color, and then brown? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with the brown over the white stuff, um, like rums, you know, or Hennessy. I've been getting a few <laughs> bottles of Hennessy lately. They wanna know who's my role model? It comes in a brown bottle. Damn. Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> that dog shit. What's up? I just got a call from my supplier. They finally have a liquor I've been trying to get for ages, but I need to go now and get it in person. Uh. Oh, you want to close up early? No problem, I'll get going. Yeah. Nope, that's not it. I was hoping you might agree to mind the bar until I get back. Yeah. Whoa. You want me to tend your bar? <laughs> what do I got to do that? I won't take long. Besides, the fuck? when I'm back, we could open up one of the bottles of the new liquor I, 
and have a little private tasting session. Just the two of us. That's a level of trust. Well, that changes things, don't it? Where do I sign? We don't even know his name. Yeah, I imagine that connoisseur like you won't have any trouble explaining the drinks we serve here to any customers who might come in. Oh, have you been paying attention? I ain't so sure about that. Oh no. Well, I do owe him for the free booze. And if oh, it's just for a little no. while, I guess I can do it. I haven't been paying attention because you're, you're doing it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why. <laughs> yeah. When when eat when we take turns reading, the other gets a break. That's not how it works. <laughs> I pay attention when you read shit. What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. I'm looking forward to a taste of that new stuff you're getting, though. <laughs> Jesus, of course. I mean, I don't. I didn't take. I didn't take booze knowledge as plot critical. <laughs> wow. Okay, you go get the stuff, and I'll take care of your bar here. Hi. I'll be right back then. Well, you know, it's like real life stuff. It's interesting. I guess, but not to me. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, should it be a problem? Is it cider? Maybe no one will show up. It should be. Back. Let's get a drink. Just my luck. already. No more, no more. Evening. Uh, Huh? That's not the usual bartender. Yeah, I wonder what's up with that. Huh? So where's the usual bartender? He um, had to step out on urgent business. Uh, that's too bad. He's got encyclopedic knowledge of those liquors from around the world. I was looking forward to his commentary. You're into that stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm no expert. The bar's got an impressive whiskey collection, though. That's why I like it. I see. In that case, what kind of whiskey can I pour you? Hi. Well, we'll start with the domestics, I think. Japanese whiskey, huh? Suntory. Yamazaki's a good choice. What were those casks they use again? Sherry casks. See when it comes to Japanese whiskey, Yamazaki's an excellent choice. The secret lies in the cask they use. Really? Casks. There's a subtle sweetness underneath the bitter taste of this whiskey, ain't there? It comes from the casks. Eh? From the casks? Do tell. The uh, Yamazaki whiskey matures in casks previously used to make the sherry. Uh. That's why the whiskey takes on the sherry's flavor and aroma. You know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you really know your stuff. All right, they're eating this up. Um, this is a missed opportunity to see some flashy, uh, coyote ugly bartending, you know? <laughs> like tossing the, the mixer around. He's serving it straight right now. Yeah, but it's He's fucking... He's not making a strawberry daiquiri here. Okay, but it's Yakuza, so you'd expect a bunch of that wild shit. Oh, if, okay, if not, you don't want, you know, if you don't want a coyote ugly reference, then fucking Tom Cruise. Yeah, you wanna yeah. work and shake it behind your back? <laughs> Tom, that old, old... 80s Tom Cruise shit. What the? What was it called? Um, the, whatever the, the 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 old bartending movie. Yeah, I, I the other know, one. But I forget. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I get you another round of drinks? Mm, let's try something else this time. Can you recommend something? Maybe a scotch? Scotch whiskey, huh? Whiskey. What's the name of that popular one? Cocktail. Beef eater is that is gin gin that's not correct Valentine's is mm -hmm. the one we saw here the fancy fancy they actually ah. put a fucking <laughs> they, oh, there. yeah yeah they got beef eaters for real oh what good thing this is unskippable oh shit batteries are fucking not digging it um they're on your side can you pass me two batteries please? Hi. Yeah, I just noticed the real beef eater logo at the back. That's, you just noticed it? Yeah. So, because because I mean, it was it wasn't at the top of the menu. So I guess it's like, yeah, all the bottles there are real. But did they pay for those? You know, for the right to wait, not triple A, not triple A, double A. Did they? Yeah, because you have to pay for a licensed fucking beef eater, like you know, logo. I'm sure. I guess if you, it's just it's. It would be unusual, I imagine, to like get the sponsorship 
uh, money exchanges hands, but then you're not actually going to have a have it be accessible, you know? Hmm. Product placement, I guess, is good enough on its own as a as a little ad. Those are not ads. Of course they are. <laughs> 100 million percent. If you see a real brand in a thing, they didn't yeah, just scan it themselves. Right. You yeah. have to ask. You're like, or they have to pay for it. There's zero chance they just did it because they're like, oh yeah, that'll add, add authenticity. No, that that's that's the world is not that naive. Come on. There we go. Really? Why is that? Over 40 single marts are blended to make this whiskey. Matured for 17 years to perfection. It's held high in steam all over the world. More than 40 single malts go into that? Unbelievable. Yeah. I could talk for hours about every single one It's a fucking commercial. <laughs> this, this is an ad read. Please do. Dude, I'm really curious. I will. On your next visit. Oh. Oh, he's good. Yeah, the suspense is going to kill us. Guess we've got no choice to come back soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm looking forward to it. In a world without Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm loving the drinks here. I want to try more. Yeah, me too. Let me pick something for you this time. You enjoyed the Yamazaki whiskey with its cherry aroma, right? I think I know. Know what you'd like, bartender? Do you have you have Glenfiddich, don't you? Glenfiddich. Ah. ah, yes, an excellent choice. What is it like? Don't ask me. <laughs> ah, let me think. It's got something coming with Yamazaki whiskey and its cherry aroma. Did we drink a Glenfiddich? We didn't drink a Glenfiddich, did we? Uh. That sounds like some bullshit. No, we had the Glenfiddich. Did we? Okay. The twelve, uh, the twelve year old. Was it fr no? Fruity was the was the uh, the one we just talked about. The Ballantine. This was deep and earthy, wasn't it? Right. Yeah. And finish has a really deep earthy flavor, much appreciated by connoisseurs. A shot in the dark, but who knows? I might be right. Uh, earthy flavor. Thanks, but I'll pass on that one. But wait. That's completely different from what my other friends told me it was like. Well, uh... Taste a subjective thing. Uh, I guess... So can I... <laughs> oh. He doesn't seem convinced. Thanks. It's time for us to get going. Uh, I think I might have had a little too much. Yeah. I hope you had a good time. Please come again. <sighs> Man, I barely got through that. Bartending ain't exactly a walk in the park. Did you know the answer? I wasn't sure. Okay. I, uh... Hey, you're back. <laughs> Thank you for minding the bar. I got the liquor. Ah. That's good. I bumped into the two customers who were just leaving the bar. It seems you did an excellent job. Yeah. Please, take this. You earned it. You got a French wallet. I have a ton of those! <laughs> <laughs> now, I promised you a taste of my newest edition, so let's have a drink. What am I, silver? <laughs> 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 the fuck is this? How does it feel? Shit! Uh. Oh, yeah. This is Courvoisier XO. Courvoisier? A French cognac, Ooh. which won a prestigious award at an international contest in 86. Yeah, I can see why. Yeah. Thanks to you, I can finally serve it at my bar. Okay. This is a taste I'll have him coming back for more. It's one of them VIP bottles that you gotta fucking... Uh, got that crevassier. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for your help today. You're welcome to give bartending another try anytime you'd like. Yeah. No way, no thanks. I'm happy just being a customer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shame. Thank you very there much, we go. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Yeah, some bottles are more of a flex than actually used for drinking. Yeah. Like Cristal back in the day. 
Although, if I'm not mistaken, I think, yeah, Jay-Z was pushing Crystal, but then they said, we don't appreciate your, your pushing of our brand. The association is Damn. not what we want. And then he was like, yo, fuck Crystal. <laughs> I think, I Fair think enough. something, I feel like I heard a story about that. And so like, yeah, <laughs> it was one of those like, ooh, no, that's, crazy. that's not what our Crystal is supposed to be. Not for <laughs> He's kind of, you know. <laughs> Don't make us say it. 